2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. God wrote the Bible. But what we have to understand is... You know how many Bible in the world it is? Uh, we, we know that. But what... Stick the... Let me see that Bible. New American Standard 
right. version Bible. Right. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Go to Acts 5, 29. You know what Pangea is? I want you to open that. Open your Bible. Stop asking me questions. Open your Bible. Open your Bible, my brother. You got a brother. Hey, stop. You got a Bible in your hand. Open your Bible. Stop the nonsense. Open your Bible. Let's go. Acts 55, 29. Open your Bible. Then Peter said, then Peter, now the pastors, it's the same. You have to be God. A savior to who? To, to give repentance. To give what? To give repentance. What does repentance mean? It means change. To give change to who? To Israel. To, to all nations. To Israel. To all nations. To the white boy that was standing here. To Israel. Who are the Israelites? Who are the Israelites? Who are they? No, you right here. Who are the Israelites? Everybody. Who are the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel? Not, not what do you see on that list? Who are the Israelites? Okay, but he has a problem. He said everybody. God said give repentance to Israel. Israel ain't the Chinese. Israel ain't the Arabs. Israel are not the so-called white men. So what is he talking about? Everybody. Your mind is gummed up and you have a Bible and you don't even want to open your Bible. No, no. No, they don't. No, they don't. My bloodline. One give me, give me mixed with all races. Let's just say. I'm going to show you. God does not regard all nations. And it's in the Holy so Bible. That's right. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you in a minute. And we know that. We know, we know that. We're going to know that. We're going to deal with that right now that God don't love all nations. Listen up. Let's see it. To the 40, the 17. Let's see what God thinks about all the nations. All nations. No, some nations. Nations! Come on. For him, who is nothing? Who is what? Who is nothing? Here's the gap, right? All nations are as nothing. All nations are as nothing. You have a Bible, the same Bible you have in your hand, and you refuse to open it. Because you don't believe the Bible. You got it, but you don't want to open it. You've kept your Bible sealed. You, If you don't believe the Bible, what are you talking right. the Bible around for? You know why? Because you don't know. Give me what you got. Only way to know is by not knowing. Come on. Let's see. Let's go to, uh, Only way go to, to Romans 9. Is by not understanding. Go to Romans 9. What That's we got to understand, I'm going to show y'all again, in the New Testament, God does not regard all nations. This is not Christianity. The Sunday church doctrine that y'all have learned is over. Right now. It's right. over. You understand? We're going to learn, thus saith the Lord. We're going to learn from men. You have to learn the Bible as we are teaching you the Bible in the spirit of Christ. You understand? This is not the Sunday church. Romans 9, start at verse 3. Romans chapter 9, verse 3. For I could risk that myself were cursed from Christ. For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. My kinsmen according to the flesh. Not all my kinsmen, my brothers, according to the flesh, meaning my flesh, my people, read. Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? To whom? The head of the adoption. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, brothers. So it says, to whom pertaineth the adoption, the bringing back. That belongs to the Israelites, not the other nations. Read that again. Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory uh -huh. and the covenant. So to us pertain the glory, the covenants, meaning the promises. Read. And the giving of the law. And the giving of the law belongs to us. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. God gave those laws to us. You understand? Read. In the service of God. Uh -huh. And the promises. Uh huh. Verse 13. 
Verse 13. Brothers, hey, brothers, brothers, brothers. Brothers, I need y'all to pay attention. Listen to this verse here from the Lord. Wait, so you're Brother man right here with the white shirt, I need you to pay attention for once. God never made a sin? Huh? God never made a sin? Like he no, no, no. Killed? God, I'm going to tell you, never, I'm going to show you something never, about the Most High. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen to what the Most High says about the nations. Read. Verse 13. As it is written. As it is written. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. Jacob, that's the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Jacob have I loved. But Esau, but Esau have I hated. Have I hated. Who is this Esau that God hates? You got the Bible in your hand, so you should be able to prove it. That's Jacob's brother. Yes, it is Jacob's brother. Right. What race is he? What is his race today? What is his race? Is he? What is he? He is the so-called white man. He is our. He was our yeah. brother. He is our fraternal brother, yeah. fraternal twin. When you read Genesis the twenty-fifth chapter, this? God says, this? God says, for Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. We're reading Romans in the New Testament. The white man came out of him. No, 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 no. He did not. The white man came out of. Um, Shem. He came from Shem, not Ham. Okay? Read Genesis 25. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's get that because we have to understand the origin of this of this demon. You understand? The God says... When your demon is within... Say that again. That's not the devil consuming him? No, listen. What we have to... God made us in his image. So the way God gets... When we get, we get angry, that's, a, that's an emotion. God gets angry, that's also an emotion. You understand? Yeah, but what I learned... And I, like you said, Sunday church. They said when you get Sunday in, church. I'm gonna tell you straight. Sunday church is, is garbage. I'm gonna tell you now. I used to. Be, we all here used to go to the Sunday church. All of us. You understand? We learned it's garbage. You know why? Because you're not learning who you are. You're not learning what is required of you. You're not learning the Most High's uh, uh, High Holy Days. You understand? You're not learning any of these things in the Sunday church. Now, listen. I'm gonna show you the origin of where Esau comes from. Brother, I need you to pay attention. Pay attention. Because Esau did not come from Ham. Hey, excuse me, brother. Brother right here with the white shirt. I'm talking to you. I'm listening. Okay, so stop having side conversations if you're really listening. Genesis 25, come on. Genesis chapter 25, verse 22. Come on. And the children struggled together within her. Uh -huh. And she said, if it be so, why am I thus? So she's asking, why is this struggle going on in my belly? She's pregnant with twins. Read. And she read and cry of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, two nieces. What's in her womb? Two nieces. Two different kinds of people. Read on. Or in that womb. Uh-huh. Two men of people shall be separated from thy bow. Two manner of people, two different kinds of races shall be separated when they're born. I'm going to show you. Read on. Says they can't come back. And the one people shall be stronger than the other. Uh -huh. And the elder shall serve the younger. God says the elder, pay attention, the elder shall serve the younger. Let's see who the elder is. Read. And, and when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, come on. behold, there were twins in her womb. Come on. And the twin, twins in her womb. Mm. Let's see if the twins look alike or do they look different. Read. And the first came out red. What color the first? Red. My brother. Hey, excuse me. My brother, you're not paying attention. You got the attention deficit. No, you, you're not listening. What color did he come out there? What color did we just read? Because we just read it. You're not paying attention. Right. Read it again. And the first came out red all over, like a hairy garment. So the first child came out red like a hairy garment. The so this right here is the so-called white man. Is he literally white like his shirt? So what color is he? He's red. He's red because he's red from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. That's right. He's red. The first came out red all over like a hairy garment. Read on. And they called his name Esau. You know what the name Esau means? Wasted away is he. Because the, all of the nations prior to Esau were brown skinned. That was the normal look at the time. So this one here is called red. That's why it's documented. Because it's a new thing in the earth to look like the white boy that was just here. That was a new thing. No one ever looked like that before. 
So he said, wasted away is he. That's what Esau means. Read on. And after that came his brother out and his hand. So wait, afterward, what? And after that came his brother out. Who was his brother? Jacob. After that came his brother out. And his hand took hold on Esau's hill. So now wait a minute. They're not, they're not telling you what Jacob's color is. Why? Because Jacob is already brown skin like everyone else. He looks normal. But Esau had to be recorded because that's abnormal. It's abnormal. Like the, the Edomite that was just standing here, it's abnormal to look like that. Right, so that's not normal. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.